Hey everybody, this is TurtleShell25 here, and today I'm going to be doing the Strong Arm Review. This is a good gun, it's my brother's, and it's really trusty, it's good in battles. I'd really prefer this gun, and it's really good, and... Slam Fire. As you know, or maybe you didn't see it, or maybe you did, but I was actually shooting it two times there. And it's a really good reloading thing. See, you just push this in, and then you pop it out. You can reload as much as you want. See, I shot the two bullets right there. Just going to pick them up. I got this one. Slide it in. And then I'll grab the other one, which is right over here. Wait, I must have lost it. But anyway, you get the point. So, pretend this was the one that I shot off. So, you can just slide it in. And then, spin it if you want. And this is the cool way of doing it. You can do this. And then, it goes in because of the friction and everything. So, it's a really good gun. And so, let's go to the range test. Okay, so I'm ready to start the range test. I am aiming for the white fence all the way over there, right over there, and I measured it at about 45 to 50 feet. So I'm going to take five shots, and here we go. One. try that again. Let me just grab a bullet. Putting it down to, let's try that again. Because that must have been a bad bullet because I've had bad bullets before. It's not the gun, it's just the bullet. So, okay, five. Here we go. That's, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put the gun down. And let's check it out. And uh, some of you guys were wondering why I, own, why I took the strong arm in the Nerf War video instead of the rapid strike. It's because I didn't want to have to load it up and it will be exaggerating. Oh, and it looks like they're all, they all got around here. And wow. And look at that. One of them got right there. Amazing. So I'm gonna put pick these up. This one up. This one up. This one up. This one up. And I'm actually it actually went past the fence. I was expecting it to go a little bit shorter than that, but it went just about there and past. Wait, what? There's another one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was there the other day. This went was the one that went past the fence. That is amazing. So I'm going to go back to where I was, and then I'm going to do the power test. Okay, now I am ready to do the power test of this strong arm. So I'm going to be aiming at this window curtain, and here's the first shot. As you can already see, it is so powerful that it got itself so stuck in the window curtain. So, next one. Go, and also got it. So, stuck all the way into the window curtain. Next one. And I'm going to be taking five shots, so just three more. All right, that one bounced off that time. And two more. 
That one bounced off too. And this gun is just so trustworthy and really reliable in a battle. So, see the aim right where I want it to go and it bounced off again. So we got two there and two there. Last one. Wait, actually, nope, that's the fifth. Okay, so that was the power test and it is really powerful. So, we got the two tests, range test, even farther than I thought it would go. It says it only goes 25 feet. Well, guess what? It just more than doubled it. And for the power test, it went all the way through the current two times in a row. And, oh my goodness. And then that, and we got down stuff three times, second print two times. It's just really trustworthy. So. Okay, so that was the end of the video. And subscribe, like, dislike, it doesn't really matter. I'm a starter, so. Anyway, that was Turtle Show 25, and peace out.